In this video, I will be explaining how to solve this problem about a discrete probability distribution. The problem says, a bakery stocks daily four gourmet fancy fruit top case. All the case that are not sold during the day are thrown away and the bakery restock the next day with new case. Bring it bringing the in-stock level up to 4 at the beginning of each day. If daily demand is greater than the 4 case in a stock, the bakery loses sales. The special case sells for $32 and costs the store $10. The probability distribution of daily demand for the case is as shown below. So we know the probability distribution. So we know that there is a 0.03 probability that nobody wants the K that day. Or maybe the, there is, the demand is only of 1K, but the probability that that happens is only 5%. There is a 46% probability for K that the customers are willing to buy that day. So the demand for the K have this distribution that we have here. It's possible even that there are five cakes that are required that day. However, the store only stocks with four cakes every day. With this information, I want to solve three questions. The first question is what is the expected daily demand for the cake? And I think this is a very straightforward uh, question, so it will be easy to solve. But it's more interesting the other two questions. For example, what is the expected daily profit from the sale of the cake? And finally, question C. On average, how much profit is lost each day because the cake is not available when demanded? Because, for example, there is a 4% probability that the customer demands 6 cakes. However, the bakery only stocks every day with four case. We have only four case at the beginning. Okay, so the first question, what is the expected daily demand for the cakes? And obviously the formula I'm going to use is the formula for the expected value. So the expected value, remember, is the sum of each of the values multiplied by their probability. So each value by their probability. So I, I know that the, the demand could be zero, and the probability of 0 is 0 0.03, so I'm going to multiply 0 times 0 .0, 0 0.03. 1 times 0 0.05, etc. So this, so we can do this in a table. If we have Excel, for example, we can make another column, and in this column make the product. Yeah, the product of this cell multiplied by this cell. And just try the answer. And copy this until the, for the other cells. If you are working by hand, so multiply each cell by its value of the x, by the probability. So three, 1 times 0 0.05, 0 0.05, etc. So 2 times 0 0.12, 0 0.24, 3 times 0 0.24, 0 0.72, 4 times 0 0.46, 1.84, and etc. You multiply, add together all these numbers, and this is what the formula is telling me to do. Add together all these products. So I add together, and I found that the answer for the question A is just 3.39. So in average, 3.39 fancy fruit top case are demanded that day. So we have computed the expected daily demand. So the average demand. So and that's the reason maybe why this bakery is restocking every day with four cakes. Because the expected demand is 3.39. They are expecting around four case. So this is the answer of the first question. More interesting is the second question. What is the expected daily profit from the sale of the cake? The first question they ask me the expected daily demand and we have already the demand, the probability distribution for the demand. But we don't have the probability distribution for the profit. So we need to make, to compute the expected value, we need to have a probability distribution for the profit. So let's find it. So what could be the profit? Remember, a probability distribution it will be a list of all the possible values of the variables and their probability. So I need to know all the possible values of the profit. 
So let's make another table in which we can solve this question. What is the expected daily profit from the sale of the cake? Of course, it will be the same formula. I'm going to type profit with R. So it will be the expected profit equal the sum of all the profit multiplied by the probability of each profit. So all the possible value for the profit. And I want to put this in a table. So for what are the possible value of the profit? If possible that the, that the demand is zero. If the demand is zero, they don't sell any, any cake. So they are going to have, and they, they each cake costs the store $10, but they are making four cakes every day. And they know that they throw away the cake. So they have a fixed cost of $40 every day. But remember the profit, if the revenue obtained, but in this case the revenue will be zero, minus the cost, and the cost will be $40. And this will be a fixed cost. Okay, so it will be zero minus 40 will be minus 40, yeah? So it will be minus 40. And another possibility that they sell one, and then they sell one, the, the, then the profit for one will be 32 minus 40, so it will be $80. Or maybe they sell two, so it will be 64. Remember that every every case sell for $32. If they sell 264 minus 40, and then in this case, it will be a positive profit, so $24. Or if they sell three, so it will be three times 32 will be 96 minus 40, and in this case it will be $56. Um, maybe they sell for four, it will be one. So all the four cases that they sell, 128 minus 40, so it will be $88. These are the possible values for the profit. So we have the list of all the possible values. They don't have, they don't sell more, more case, so they don't have any other possibility of profit. Another interesting problem will be what is the expected daily revenue for the cake. That will be an interesting question also, but you can solve this by yourself. Okay, but what will be then the probability? What is the probability of 40? So let's make a column of their probability. So what will be the probability of losing $40? It's the same probability that the demand is zero. If they, the demand is zero, they don't sell anything, then the profit will be minus 40. It's the same, the same probability that the demand is zero. The probability that the profit is negative eight is the same probability that the demand is one. Because if the demand is one, they are going to sell only one cake and then the profit will be negative eight. So they have a loss of eight dollars. And the next one is happening only if the demand is 2. So it will be 0 0.12. And this 56 happening if the demand is 3, 0 0.24. And here is when it's coming the different thing. So what is the probability that the profit is $88? When they are going to get $88? They have this profit if the demand is 4. But also if the demand is five, because if the demand is five, they are going to sell four and they are going to lose one profit for one cake. Or if the demand is six, also they are going to sell four because they have only four cakes. So the probability of selling four cakes is actually the probability that the demand is four or five or six. So you will need to add this probability to know the probability that the profit is $88. Remember, the profit is $88 if the demand is or four or five or six, because in that case, they are going to sell only four cases. So it will be 0 0.46 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.04. This is 0 0.56. So this will be the probability of getting this profit. This will be a probability distribution now. Because remember the probability distribution adding together all the probabilities, the answer needs to be one. So this number needs to be 0 0.56. Another way to notice is that adding together this and subtracting one minus all this here, the answer will be 0 0.56. So the total in this way will be one. So this is the probability distribution of the profit. And then just put the, let's put this table here and just make the multiplication, the profit times the probabilities. So 
this is minus 1.20, this one is minus 0 0.40, this one is 0 0.24 multiplied by 0 0.12, 2.88, this is 13.44, this is 88 times 0 0.56 is 49.28. Add together all these numbers, I get 64. So 64 is the expected daily profit. So in average, they are getting $64 per day for the selling of this cake. Sometimes they get less, sometimes they get more, but in average, this will be the profit. Okay, so now that we have the profit, let's compute on average how much profit is lost each day because the case is not available. So let's answer question C. So this is, then again, because this is, what I need to do is make a probability distribution of the random variable we are studying in this case. And we are studying the profit loss each day because the K is not available. So what is the profit loss? Because they are not asking me the profit loss here. They're asking because the, the profit loss because the K is not available. Sometimes the K is available, sometimes not. Yeah? So, so, and again, the same formula, expected value equal the variable multiplied by the probability of each of the values. Let's put here the, the initial table and let's make another table for the loss because the K is not available, when is demanded. Remember, the K costs $10 and they sell for $32. So if there are one K missing because the demand was five, so in this case, you are having a loss of $22 profit because the K was not available. So one possibility will be losing this $22 in profit because the K is not available. So sometimes maybe you, the K is available, so you don't lose anything because the K is not available. But sometimes you lose $22. And sometimes you lose the sale of two Ks because the demand was six at that day and you have only four Ks. So in this case, you're losing a profit of $44. So these are the only three possible values. So maybe you don't lose anything because you have all the Ks that the people demand, or maybe you lose the sale of one cake, or maybe the lose of the sale of two Ks. So let's make the probability then. The probability of losing this $22 is because the demand was five, and you didn't have this new case. So this is a probability of 0 0.06. Or maybe the probability that you lose two, the sale of two Ks, so you lose $44 profit. That was the day when the demand was six, and that the probability that that happened is 0 0.04, so 0 0.04. The other probability need to be, so one, Minus this is 0.90. It's going to give me the probability of not losing anything because the K was not there. And obviously, we'll be adding together all this number here. So the only situation in which you lose sell because the K was not there was in these two situations. So this must be 0 0.90. You also can add these numbers. That the answer must be 0 0.90. So you have the probability distribution, and then you can you can actually add this, the answer is one, and don't compute LPL. This time this, this time this, you can use Excel if you are using Excel to make the multiplication, add together, and that give me the, on average, how much profit is lost each day, because the K is not available when demanded. And that answer, the last question, and with this, I, finish this video. Thank you.